Let's now tackle this problem from the AMC 12A. Usain is walking by exercising and zigzagging across this 100 by 30 rectangular field, beginning at A. So you kind of just go like this. And whenever you hit a segment, you just kind of go back in the other direction, but now this thing is theta. You just keep going like this all the way till you reach the end. And we're asked to find what should theta be so that you get 120 total meters walked. So the idea here is we're just going to find the ratio of each of these segments to the width. Because the total width is 100, so if we can find the ratio of the segment to the width, we would find the ratio of the total length to the total length of the path to the total width. So let's just say this is x meters, right? Then this thing will be x cosine of theta meters, this distance, just by basic trig. So now let's say this is y meters. Now, because this is theta, now this is also going to be theta by alternate interior. So this is y cosine theta meters. Similarly, if this is z, then we have this is z cosine theta. And even at this last segment over here, we have that, let's say this is, I don't know, w, by alternate interior angles, we again can just do this. This is theta, this is w cosine theta. So always, this thingy will be, you multiply this, the total length of the path, which has to be 120, you multiply that whole thing by cosine of theta to get 100, the total width. Because for each thing, you multiply by cosine theta to get to the width. The cosine theta is just 100 over 120, which is 5 sixths. So the answer is just r cos 5 sixths. Thanks for watching this video.